morning my friends and happy Saturday. I hope you're all doing well. We're on day two of our September vlogging and I've just finished editing the vlog from yesterday and it's only six and a half minutes so I'm sorry that it was so short. I thought I'd filmed more but it just ended up editing to six and a half minutes but you know it is what it is so I hope you enjoy that video. While I've been editing I've also been watching the baseball. It's something that I've been doing a lot recently. Saturday mornings I sit and I watch the baseball on Apple TV Plus. I suppose that's one of the things that I've never really shared um, that I really like watching baseball. The American baseball that is. So the game that I've been watching is um, who are they? The Seattle Mariners versus the New York Mets. It's actually been a really good game. It's been very um, busy. I know there's lots of lots of things been happening in this game and it's a tied game at the moment. So I have it on my iPad. I usually watch it on my TV because I had to edit. I'm like I'm bringing this into my sewing room and I'm gonna watch it on my iPad. So it's at the top of the eighth so the game's almost finished and it's uh, a tied game. But yeah it's just one of the the little things that I've been really enjoying lately just watching live baseball on um on a Saturday morning. We don't get a lot of American baseball here in Australia and it's a shame because it's one of the sports that I actually enjoy watching. But anyway, uh, while I finish watching the rest of this game I'm going to uh, upload yesterday's vlog, do the thumbnail and then we can get into what we're going to be doing today. What are we going to be doing today? We are going to be basting. I've got everything all ready to go. Should be able to do that this afternoon. I think I'll do it after lunch and yeah then we'll be ready to quilt. Mm -hmm. Okay my friends, we are ready to baste. I have just cleared off our kitchen table and it's bare and looking really weird because we never have it empty. I've set up my little portable ironing board here. This is from Ikea. I've had it forever. Um, just so I have something to put my iron on. got my basting spray. This is the one I use. It's the Helma 101 Quilt Basting Spray. This stuff is great. And we have a nice bare clear kitchen table so I think it should be enough space and yeah we're just going to sort of go for it and see how it works I've never basted a quilt on the kitchen table before so it's all trial and error today just to see what works what doesn't work what I can do better in the future we'll see we'll see how we go but wish me luck let's go Okay, my friends, basting is done, and my opinion is, I'm not sure whether I'll do this again on the kitchen table. It's just a bit too faffy for me, and the table is low, and so it's been hurting my lower back, because, you know, I'm old now. So, yeah, I can see the appeal of it, and why people would want to base their quilts on the kitchen table, but... I don't think we have the best appropriate kitchen table to do it on so I think next time I'll just either stick to the floor or my sewing table but in saying that it looks really good and I've done a pretty good job I'm really happy with it Ta -da! she's lovely and flat pressed ready to go she looks lovely and I just had enough backing to do the whole quilt top so I'm really chuffed about that. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and <laughs> have a break. I'm um, also going to put my camera on charge because the battery is almost flat and I think we'll look into quilting it tomorrow. I'm still trying to think of how I'm going to do it. I'm thinking of Stitchy in the Ditchy, which is, you know, just Stitchy in the Ditch, but I call it Stitchy in the Ditchy. Or maybe a grid or I don't know some sort of straight line quilting because that's what I do. But yeah, stitch in the ditch is, is appealing to me at the moment. So we'll think about it. But anyway, it's tea time. 
So while I was basting up my quilt, I had another quilt in the wash and then on to dry. And I'm just about to bring it out of the dryer and I thought I'd show you. You've seen this quilt so many times. It is one of my absolute favourites and I've washed and dried it so many times and I use it every day. It is just... It's a little bit of me, so I wanted to show you. It's this one. It's my beautiful Jacob's Ladder quilt, which is made up of all Denise Schmidt print fabrics. The back of the quilt is this print, and that's also been pieced as well. So it's got this sort of spot and leftover squares on the back as well. So I'm going to take you outside and I'll show you. Oh, the sun. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take you outside and show you what the quilt looks like. Hopefully, my camera will. Oh, a dog. Hopefully the camera won't die because you are on the last legs of the battery. Should I admit that this is the first time I've actually been outside today? And it's like almost 3.30. That's not good. There we go. That's the front. My Jacob's letter. Beautiful. And then... And then the back. Cool. Yeah. It's so nice. As you've seen, I've just literally pulled it out of the dryer and it is so cozy and it smells delicious and clean. Mm. Quilts bring me so much happiness. Happy days. All right, I'm going to put you on charge because the camera is dying. Oh. Well, happy Saturday evening, my friends. We've made it to the end of the day. This is what I get up to on a Saturday night in front of the TV. Cup of tea and uh, something fun on YouTube. However, this scenario is missing something. My freshly washed quilt. Just here. Oh, let's unfurl this. Oh. oh, happy days. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So lovely and fresh. Mm. I usually put like washing powder, whatever washing powder is in the cupboard. And then I do like a fabric softener. Just to give it a little bit of, you know, niceness. Just makes it feel a little bit more homey, you know. So I'm happily bundled up in front of the TV with my tea. And I'm happy and content. I feel like this light is not quite the best. Maybe that's, oh, that's cosier. I am very happily currently watching a Disney vlog by one of my favourite Disney vloggers. His name is Adam Hatton. He does a lot of Disney vlogs and Disney stuff and he travels a lot with his friend Gary C who is just an absolute hoot and I just love watching them and just their love and enthusiasm for Disney stuff is just it's it's very wholesome and lovely. So I'm currently watching a vlog that they did a couple of years ago now they went on a Disney cruise and I've watched this vlog so many times but it just makes me really happy. So I'm going to continue watching that tonight while possibly painting my nails. I have a craving to do some white nails so I have this one by Rimmel. It is called White Hot Love. A bit of a weird name for a nail polish but anyway. And then I have my top coat. This one is also Rimmel. This is the nail base and top coat and this is really good because it makes it last for you know longer than if I didn't put it on. Then if I feel up to it I have a hexy flower that is ready to go. I have it in a pile here. I have these lovely ones that I've put together. Can't see what they are but um, they will make a lovely hexy flower and I made this one the other day and I really love it. It's got Minnie Mouse in the middle and then I've matched it with some Liberty prints and then just some generics so of like spots, gingham and stripes. And I just think it's a very mini mouse. Very sweet, very girly. I love it. So I'm going to drink my tea and immerse myself in some Disney stuff and a holiday that I am desperate to go on. Ah, <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, my friends, it has come to the end of the day and... It is bedtime. It has been a pretty busy day today, even though I've just been at home. It's been one of those days where I've just sort of potted around and done lots of different little things, as well as basting a quilt. It was just a homey chore.
kind of Saturday. I did manage to paint my nails. Oh, they look good on the camera, but up close, uh, they look a bit dodgy. So I'm not gonna show you a, a close up. Definitely not. Now, before I go to bed, I actually want to write a to-do list because I have a lot of things I need to do tomorrow in preparation for the week ahead. And I put them off and put them off and put them off. And tomorrow is the last day that I have to do all the things that I've been putting off. So we got to do them. Otherwise, things aren't going to be good. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you have had a lovely Saturday wherever you are. I've had a lovely Saturday. And I'm feeling really, like, good and content in myself because I'm reconnecting back in with my sewing. Like, it's such a huge part of who I am. I just haven't done it in so long. And now that I'm sort of reconnecting with it again, I feel so much more, like, calmer and and less stressed, even though there's a lot going on. There's lots for me to stress about. But yeah, just connecting to that creative side again and... Yeah, just doing the thing that I love has um yeah has really helped with the brain. <laughs> yes, but anyway, I'm saying good night. Not standing here rambling about my mental health. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a lovely Saturday, and I will see you all again tomorrow for I was about to say Vlogmas Day Three, but it's not Vlogmas. Well, the third day of our September vlogs. So I will see you all then. Bye bye.